and 3-0 over Ice Knight. He handled that set. I don't know if you watched that, but Wolfie made light work of Ice Knight, right? He he was playing phenomenally. And, um, you know, former ZSS main switched to Sonic um, like roughly a year ago. Been rocking the Sonic for about a year now, I do believe. Maybe a bit longer that I wasn't aware of. Um, but the Sonic has been out to play, and it's only been getting better. Um, his Sonic is a bona fide threat now. Okay. Ready to spin dash. Ready to rock. You know, yeah. ready to run circles around you. We'll see, though, if it's going to be enough. Because clearly, you know, Yoshi, a character that is so strange, right? I think when people <laughs> think of, like, the top Yoshis, obviously Yoshi Dora kind of is, like, the first one that comes to mind for a lot of people. And then in the Tri-State area, people think of, you know, like, Raptor or, or something like that. Or, um, I mean, I guess Suarez hasn't really been, like, as yeah. relevant as of late. But Ron in Mexico. Yes. Yes. But now we got somebody else. We got Dro. See, one thing I'm going to be interested to see is, because I don't think I've seen a lot of Yoshi Sonic, right? I'm going to be interested to see how Dro deals with Spin Dash, right? A lot of characters can hit you out of it or, or pressure Sonic with it. And Yoshi, a phenomenal character with a lot of air mobility and a lot of moves with, like, like decent disjoints. So I'm going to be interested to, I'm gonna be interested to see what Dro can do to knock Wolfie out of that Spin Dash. Yeah, this one's going to be tough for sure, especially because I feel like what feels like the most attractive option is probably trying to space those back airs. Speaking of, there we go. Also, right. great combo starter, right? So it kind of does both of the jobs for you, but then it means you have to turn around. And if Sonic sees you turn around, he can just kind of run away. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and when Yoshi's approaching with your back to him, Sonic has no reason to put himself in there, right? He can just cancel that with down air and it's not an issue. Um, and Wolfie, so good at that input, it's never going to be a problem for him. As the egg to pressure off stage, that's one. Th that's that's one weakness Sonic has, if any, is that the recovery is the, the recovery is a little bit linear. I'm gonna be looking to see how Dro can punish that all set. You can see once again trying to space these backyards, but he's so hard to catch. And we're seeing a lot of those egg tosses as well to go ahead and see if maybe we can get a little bit of extra damage or try to lock down this Sonic. But if Dro throws it at the wrong time, he's just gonna get spin dashed on. We've seen that happen already a few times in this game. And one, one trap that a lot of players fall there into is, again. is trying to pressure Sonic Spin Dash with a move, with an egg or something like that. And Dro already so many times this game has tried to throw out a Spin Dash to hit it. Wolfie's well, just gone right under it. Yeah. And uh, hit him with it pretty comfortably. But now off stage, this is nice. what I called to earlier. And Dro makes light work of it. A nice fair to take that first stop. Yeah, I guess a character like Sonic, you can't be afraid to go off stage and try to secure those edge guards, right? You can just let him get back to stage every time and you try to play the ledge trapping game. It's going to be a lot harder for you. Dro building up some nice extra credit immediately, just racking up damage, 45%. The nice. down smash threatening to do even more. Wolfie evades, though. Okay, I like the extension here, trying to bait out an air dodge. He won't be able to catch it yet again, getting hit on an egg toss by the spin dash. At this point, I think Dro should probably lean on it a little bit less. Yeah, I love the aggressive option there from Wolfie uh, in the corner after the spin dash, going for the up air. Trying to steal that stock off of Dro, but right now Wolfie is really looking for a kill confirm. And runs to the other side of the stage, hiding under that platform, waiting for something. Wants Sonic to commit because when Sonic is playing from behind, honestly, this is one of the best spots to be in. Sure, in any matchup, but yeah. specifically against a character like this, if you're forcing him to approach you, that means yeah. like a lot of the work is done for you. Yeah, characters that can control the pace of the game, when you have that lead, they can't do that. Wolfie's going to find the stop with that forward air, but still down significantly. Dro must, must not feel pressured to approach. Running the center stage, tries to cross up with the nair, throwing up the score there as well. Dash attack will connect on the overshoot, but gonna need a little bit more. <laughs> Just matches up air at a hit stun. And that makes sense, right? You're only at like 13 some odd percent before right. the hit. Why not just throw out a move really quick? Make sure the conversions are frame perfect. Yeah, maybe even a little bit of hitbox shifting there. Um, I know that's a thing that's very annoying for some people. The character's hurtbox will shift as they do a move. That happens with cloud up air, disgustingly. Mm -hmm. So Dro maybe trying to do some of that, and it works out in his favor. Up to a convincing lead here against Wolfie. Dash attack again on the overshoot, able to catch Wolfie in the corner. But here's a chance for Wolfie to maybe go ahead and try to get something. We saw that forward smash, it's not going to connect. And Dro, yeah, if I'm Dro, I'm maintaining center stage. Honestly, approaching more than I thought he would. Yeah, it, it, it just hasn't been a problem for him so far, right? Uh, typically, you don't want to approach because that's a smarter option, but if you're finding success approaching just like this and you're tacking on such consistent damage, why not? Just hold in. Go for it. It's like weird because I'm like, you're, you're able to get a hit here and there, but you're also getting hit as a response. And it makes me wonder, are you kind of giving Wolfie more opportunities to get back in this game? That back air almost brought stocks back to even, and that up air for certain is going to be able to do it. And now, you know, 76%, like, 
it feels like it should be a lead, but it's really not. Yeah, Sonic can really do that in one pretty quick advantage state. The time isn't really going to be a factor here in this game. So uh, Wolfie really does have as much time as he wants to try and find that that state of advantage and that opening that Sonic can make so much out of. Okay, forward air, not gonna be enough here. Air dodges, gets the down tilt. Gonna try to spike this maybe? No, oh. tries to two frame with the down smash. I like the attempt, because at this point, if you're Dro, you're just looking to close this game out. Yeah, I like the way Dro is mixing up his pressure off stage. Sometimes he just full sends it, sometimes he slowly pressures off stage, and sometimes he holds the ledge patiently. And that has caught Wolfie quite a few times on that mix up. Now Wolfie trying to spin his way out of there. The only thing spinning right now is his head. Dro's giving him a headache. It's been rough for Wolfie to find his footing up there. Almost going to take it 135% now. Okay, good shield here. There's the homing attack there. I don't think Dro's expecting that one. But yeah, Wolfie's just like, if I can get like a spin dash to connect here, I can actually rack up quite a bit of damage from it. But Dro's doing actually a really phenomenal job on defense. And a dash up down smash is actually going to be the option that takes game one. Yoshi is up. And, and, and Dro's feeling it, might I add. I know, his head. He's got the tunes going. He's uh, he's feeling pretty good. And that's one thing about Sonic. Um, it's more of a mental game than maybe any other character in this yes. game. Right? It's I agree. very much, can you stay patient? Can you continue and persist on making the right decision over such a long, pressured period of time? Um, so I think the, the, the thing of having some music playing, having something to keep you in the zone, keep you entertained, make sure you're having a good time and making that those correct decisions it's so important and that's always something that i think about when i'm when i'm looking at a player with headphones against the sonic yeah similarly to the set we were commentating before right where it's like against pac-man it's easy to get like burnt out after you know a game five set the same thing goes for sonic right so great stuff for dro being able to get an early lead here in the set and obviously similar situation wants to close this one out quick because it really can get draining yeah, Dro's dialed in right now. I like the pressure or the uh, the presence he holds, just sitting there, the way he's bobbing his head, just exuding confidence. Um, and that's one thing that is is so important in the Sonic matchup, as I said a moment ago. All right, let's see what the option's gonna be here. We got a spin dash into the homing attack and a dash attack as well. Up air chains. We're getting. So much damage here unanswered, but there we go, Dro finally getting something. And I love the conversions that Dro has been going for throughout the entirety of the set thus far. The way that he tries to go for extensions usually exists in like, I'm gonna go for a jab, maybe jab two, force it into a tech situation, and then try to chase Sonic off the tech. Because that's the only way really after like mid-range percents that you're gonna be able to get good guaranteed damage. Yeah. Yeah, those are like mid-low range percents. Yoshi doesn't have the best uh, the best confirms, right? So it is those those awkward jab locks Whoa. and sticky situations. And Dro keeps it sticky. Backer doesn't take it, but a rough spot here for Wolfie. Still in the corner. Dro just slightly missing on these up airs. Oh. Chases the roll away, but doesn't pull the trigger on a punish. And Wolfie lives to fight another day. All right. What is going to be the option here? Back here. It's not going to be enough to KO. We're going to throw an egg here and maybe try to edge guard. Throws out an air, but it's a little bit premature. But another back air in the corner will be enough to secure that stock. And now we have Dro up yet again. How far will Wolfie allow himself to bleed before Dro ends up taking an even more monumental lead? Flambo, we are watching a Sonic get stuck in the corner. Yeah, what the heck? <laughs> it's happening. Dro is finding a way oh, to do it. Oh. Catching the roll in with the forward air. Just a great combo. And, and Wolfie... Despite Sonic's mobility, oh. has just been chased down by uh, Dro. But speaking of chasing down, Wolfie does exactly that with the back air, keeps himself in the game. Okay, 80% was the name of the game there as far as extra credit goes. How much will that matter as Wolfie has already tacked on 21% as a response and counting. And it looks like suddenly the momentum is going in the favor of Wolfie. And that's exactly what he needs in order to go ahead and try to steal this game back. But the retaliation wow. from Dro has been tough to deal with. Yeah, Dro, Dro is just running forward. He gets put in the corner. Uh, Sonic is on a nice sequence of advantage. You're thinking, okay, this is when Wolfie makes the most of it. But Dro immediately neutral get up, doesn't wait, and keeps the pressure going, finds the con uh, conversion into the up air. Okay, you get a little bit of a jab sequence there, the gentleman, if you will, coming out from Wolfie as he goes for a forward air from ledge. It's a cheeky, uh, aggressive option back to center stage, but it does not quite work out as Dro is tagging on this extra damage. This Yoshi, this dinosaur, is here to just go ahead and try to make Wolfie the extinct one. Yoshi can just stick himself to you. Like, he, he does not have to be far away from you at any point if he doesn't want to. He's always on top of you. And Dro's Don't been doing such you. a good job doing that. Wolfie can't shake him off. <laughs> yeah, definitely uh, 
trying to do his absolute best to close out the stock early, right? When you're falling behind, there are opportunities for you to just get the stock like that forward smash. He's at 94%. Like, okay. But it's in the corner, and that's the difference. You're trying to, like, min-max on what your punish can be. But sometimes it can get a little bit too obvious. Yeah, that F tilt. Far from obvious in, uh, in that case. Wolfie hasn't used too many of those. Tilt from the corner works out. Very ambiguous with his movement in the spin dash there. Keeps Drill guessing, but still pushing forward. Punish? Oh, nothing. Back air is going to do something. Keeping Drill on his toes. Speaking of toes, landing with that down air. And Wolfie going to punish. A great kill there, but now still with a similar disadvantage he's been at the whole set. Wolfie just hasn't been able to find uh, comfortable ground to stand on. Oh, down smash again, and it sends you so abysmally. That angle is so good. It sets up for an edge yeah. guard, especially against a character angle. like Sonic, right? Where, like, the horizontal recovery isn't the best, yeah. but doesn't able to manage to get anything out of that. Yeah, the recovery is fast, but it does have to go straight up uh, at the end of the day. Speaking of going straight up, Wolfie has no problem with doing that. Up B is into the blast zone, but up air sends him just a little bit further, and Drill's going to take it. Are we jamming? Yeah, the music really going off right now. I gotta wonder what homeboy is listening to. Maybe it's that uh that new Beyonce joint where she's doing that know. country thing. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Some Texas some, hold'em. Some head bopping and toe tapping. <laughs> yeah, let's go. That might be it. That might be it. All right. <laughs> Crazy thing is, that's not even her best country song. Oh yeah, I'm Be saying. Beyonce, Beyonce's been in her country bag for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Let me like, hear, let like, hear like, Beyonce country I'm talking, opinions in between this in, in this match. What I'm talking. I'm, I'm talking daddy lessons. Ooh. I'm a lemonade. That, that's a country banger for Ooh. Beyonce. That's some, yeah. That's some real, like, like, like saloon beat em up song. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I'm trying, I'm trying to tussle. This is me coming yeah. through. I'm, I'm holes by Louis Sackar back in the day. I'm trying to beat up on Kissing Kate Barlow. Like, you know what <laughs> yeah. I mean? Like, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, we'll talk about a tussle right now, though, as uh, Joe's been doing nothing but tussling up comfortably 2 0 against Wolfie. Uh, let's see if Wolfie can, uh, you know, hit the defibrillator a little bit because signs of life seem. Quite absent at the moment, and we need to make sure that homeboy got a pulse. And so this yeah. is the game to do it because you will not have another chance. But as things have started to out so far, it's it's kind of even. I, I would love to see a little bit more uh, a little bit more juice on the side of Wolf. Yeah, hit the defibrillator. It's clear to me that Wolf has got to make a change right now. He's uh, been on the back foot the entire time. Just hasn't been able to get out of the corner. That's been the crazy thing is that Dro has just had his options on lock. Right? Uh, we saw the the way game two ended. Wolfie just did a downer, and Dro knew he was going to do it, right? So it, it's been the ambiguity that's been struggling here for Wolfie. Okay, but maybe this is the turnaround we've been waiting for. Already has a little bit of a percent lead here, but nothing that can't be equalized with a couple of hits. That forward air was almost disastrous. We are praying Wait for the minute. fact that we got that sour spot. Yeah, just pressuring with the nair. That's like the third one in a row. Ooh. Wolfie can't find a comfortable place to sit off stage. Dro gonna chase him out. The head bop that persists. And this is why edge guarding is so important. Wolfie's ticket out of that situation was the tech on that nair, but it was missed and put him in such a precarious spot. Had he gotten that tech, we may be seeing a completely different game here, but not getting that tech can be the difference. Wow, Wolfie's on, he's, he's jumping through multi hits. He's on some IDJ up air and a nair to put you on the platform. Dro's in his bag right now. Yeah, this is going to be tough. I don't want to hear Marvin's room start playing quite yet, but <laughs> Wolfie definitely kind of leaning That's toward that. Here we go. Back air, or throw rather, is going to be enough. Yeah. Dro knew. He was real confident. He was already kind of looking into the next stock um, as he got grabbed. Uh, Wolfie's still very much in this. Do not count him out yet, but off stage might be a little easier to do so. Dro's going to get a nice punish and do an up air. Stuck on the platform now is Wolfie, and that's never a spot you want to be in. Okay, down tilt. Their jab reset. Ah. Got three hits there. Yeah, I, I was wondering kind of what the deal with that one was, but it doesn't really matter, right? Like, you have such a sizable lead here, you start fishing for back airs. Yeah. Maybe an up smash had a shield if, you know, Wolfie does something a little ill advised. Yeah, I'm sure jab three isn't what Dro was looking Jeez. for, but as you said, literally didn't matter at all. Dro did not get hit after that at any point. He's playing too solid right now. Okay, this is it, man. You got to start activating them Chaos Emeralds, brother. I need to start here and live and learn right now because <laughs> otherwise it's looking like that might be yeah. it for you on this winner's side of bracket. But I would love to see the clap back from Wolfie. Let him know what you're all about. Are you going to go out 3-0 like a buster or are you going to have something to say? Look at that spacing there from Dro. He knew exactly where Wolfie was going to end up and just placed the up tilt with precision. And now just chasing <laughs> him around. He's just dash dancing. Dro is feeling really comfortable right now. Wolfie needs to knock him off a pedestal right now. Yeah, he said, come on, hop off of that, bro. I don't want to deal with you feeling so so saucy right now. I like yeah. them dry wins. <laughs> that dry rub. 
That lemon pepper. That lemon pepper. This is a good chance for him to do it, though. Dro, uh, let a couple smash attacks rip. They're not landing. Uh, maybe a little bit too much dip on his chip there as Wolfie's keeping him in the corner here. Going for these up tilts now. I mean, yeah, Dro's like, you know, I need to attack on like 20, 30 more some off percent, and then I'm cruising, right? Like, then I can really just start fishing for KOs. And even with the rage that I've amassed at this point, like, I might even be able to get it earlier. Yeah, this is a very um, just solid sequence for Wolfie as he's not been able to do any wrong for the past about 30 seconds as Dro on the back foot can't find these connections in the back air. Explosion from Wolfie. 83% now, Dro catches himself in a rough spot. Wolfie finds an opening again. All right, here we go, up row. Manages to get the up air as well. Falls out of the second hit of that second up air, though, and forces Wolfie into the corner because of it. Needs to get out of here. The spin dash is going to be the answer. Watch out now, Dro. Wolfie's coming back. Objects in the mirror may be closer than they appear. Wolfie is catching up super quickly. Up air into a back air, and all of a sudden, this game is dead even. Closest game of the set so far. Okay, hold on. Wolfie's answering back. We're striking back. It's not over yet. That egg toss was almost super, super dangerous, but no punish on that. We'll see Wolfie thrown out of forward smash, getting more confident at throwing out some game-ending options here, but don't want to rush it. Just trying to find any connection Ooh. here is Wolfie. Dro catches the nair. Wolfie stuck in the corner. Dro's made so much mileage out of this. Wolfie rolls back and forth, keeps himself out of trouble. The fair not quite going to do it. Yoshi clings on for dear life. Oh, Dro gets caught there, has to air dodge in, and manages to sneak through the pressure. Wolfie now in the corner. They're swapping sides here. They're trading places. This is going to be a back row. It's not going to be enough, but it will mean Dro is in the corner. Corner pressure for Wolfie is huge here. It's got to feel great for him. The up air is not connecting. Dro can't make it back. The back air does it, and Wolfie gives himself a chance. There is a pulse. There is a pulse right now. Wolfie in the ambulance on the way to the hospital. <laughs> They've managed to resuscitate him, but there is no guarantee that he's going to make it through the ride. Yeah. We have to find out. Yeah, and listen here. If you're Wolfie, you found your stride. You got to look forward. You can't think too hard about those two games that you lost. You can't think, oh, man, I got I to win two games in a row. You know, there's a reason the windshield is bigger than the rearview mirror. You got to look forward. You got to keep pressing in the direction that you're trying to go. Yes. Don't focus on what just happened. Focus on what will happen. Wolfie trying to do just that going into game four. Yeah, you got to focus on the basics, man. Make sure you hit that turn signal before you go ahead and cross that intersection. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> just stick yeah. to the basics, bro. Don't think about where you're going to be in 10 minutes from now. Oh, is that light going to hit? Nah, bro. Just, just look at the road. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Eyes on the road ahead of you. Eyes on the draw ahead of you, mayhaps. Putting on that shield pressure, Wolfie. Again, just off to a rough start. That's been the thing is that Wolfie hasn't had a good start to a game. He kind of had to rely on a ridiculous sequence at the end of that game three. Um, ridiculous being good. Yes, <laughs> but, yeah, I feel you. But um, Wolfie just hasn't come out to a, a hot start yet. And this is where, you know, I start to, to wonder a little bit. Like, I was like, oh, is this going to be like, you know, where the, the tank starts to give out a little bit? You know, as the set gets longer and longer, will Dro be unable to deal with the Sonic? But so far in this game four, it's looking like he's pretty poised to do so here. But hold on, no this jump. is a great position to be. Couldn't get that forward air, but the jab sequence will be able to capitalize. But it did mean that Dro was able to touch the floor, and thus that double jump was regained. Yeah, that's one thing. Wolfie hasn't really been able to punish Dro for not having a jump off stage. That's not the first time he's been stuck out there in no man's land, but he's been able to make it back. Dro also very uh, ambiguous with how he recovers. Let's see, dash attack on the overshoot, trying to catch a dash back just in case another up air is going to connect as well. And things are starting to look a little bit more even here, but that egg <laughs> conversion into the forward air. <laughs> wow, he cracked the egg on him and then smacked him with the skillet. <laughs> he did just that, man. That's a, that's a nasty conversion. It comes out of nowhere. You don't even expect it. Um, and now Wolfie trying to do the same thing. Put, put Dro uh, back to an even game. He's kept it really close. Has not let Dro run away with this. Uh, Sonic typ typically the one running away with things, but Dro is going to do just that. Forward air, no punish. Ooh. Falling up air doesn't do it. Wolfie's wise to it. I love that up smash. Yeah, it's like how often do you see a Sonic up smash? You know what I mean? So like that was a very keen awareness to a very specific scenario that Wolfie was in because most of the time, Sonics aren't really willing to let that button fly. Yeah, because because really a Sonic, you don't need to commit to something like that. You have a lot of other options that are safer, and you don't really need to commit to that full up smash. But Wolfie very confident in that moment that he could do just that. Now these spin dashes, Dro's presence on the platform is overwhelming, but Wolfie finds himself well, gets a couple hits. Nice. It's a trade on the up smash there, looking to get the KO off the top here, goes for another up smash. And honestly, good on Dro 
really here for being able to tack on all this extra pressure. Wolfie has not been air dodging. That homing attack was actually so good at shifting yeah. Sonic's hurt box there to get out the way and also get a counter punch. That's the way you got to run it sometimes. Yeah, I love the timing on that homing attack, almost using it like an aerial spot dodge. Yes. Just to get out the way. And now stuck in the corner. Wolfie finally gets himself out. He's He's been doing a better job getting out of the corner in these last two games than he Ooh. was in the first two. Um, and that's been uh, what's allowed him to turn the tides here. Oh, interesting. I'm not exactly sure what the option throw is going for there. I thought maybe we'd try to two-frame the, uh, the spring ride on the way up, but instead, man, just for? find a falling up air in the middle of the stage, and now Dro yet again in a position poised to take this set. Will it run away again? We will see just that. Wolfie was able to cling on to it last time. A nice spot dodge to keep Dro out of shield pressure, pressure danger. Um, as he's able to tack on a little bit of extra credit. That's, that's, that's what it's all about right now, is, is how much of a lead can Dro build up for himself to try and prevent what happened last game. Yeah, this is the moment where it's like, you gotta read ahead in the chapters. You know, put yourself in the best spot possible. And we're seeing if that's gonna be the case here as Wolfie is trying so hard to bring this back to an even stock game, but needs to tack on a little bit of extra damage. Then we can start fishing for some back airs or something like that. But, uh oh, egg leg, Solid. Dro's cooking now. Solid read on the shield from, uh, from Wolfie. Dro comes through with a great command grab, adds on some extra damage, 42% makes him feel a little bit better, but Sonic can explode for that at any given moment. Dro's got to add on a little bit more before he feels comfy, going to a last stock here with Wolfie, 141% on his second. The survivability of Dro is so difficult to deal with. All right, let's see, getting stuck in the corner here. Oh, goes for the down smash. Does it, I, not, not quite early enough, right? So it wasn't gonna catch a, yeah. a roll away anyway, but I do like the attempt, but a back air from Wolfie. This is kind of roughly around the same percent that he was at in the last game as well. So if there's anything that's been proven, it's that he can win from here. Yeah, I think Wolfie's been down this exact same margin all three games so far, and has brought it close every single time, but now off stage, Dro sends him. And that is not where he wants uh -oh. to be. The Nair sends him further into disadvantage. Spin Dash gets him back to ledge safely, but not safe for long. The pressure persists from Dro. Yeah, things are starting to look grim here, especially with that back air connecting to the cranium of Wolfie. 128 and counting to go. And at this point, it's like we just start throwing out Nairs if we're Dro. Yeah, just about any of Dro's aerials are going to kill here. Drag down back air is not going to be the one to do it, though. Ooh. Back air not going to kill off the stage. Thinks about chasing off stage, but thinks better of it. Catches the whole oh. in. Two up airs in a row. Third time the oh. charm, mayhaps. No, not going to get it. Chases ah. even higher. Wolfie's running away. He stays alive. Oh, and actually uses the homing attack there for an aggressive way to get back to the stage. Gets the spin dash as well, but he falls out of the conversion. And now Wolfie at 174. Pretty much anything from Dro is going to be enough to KO. Keeps himself in oh. the game, though. That's Max Rage. Be careful. An angry Sonic is not a Sonic you want to deal with. It's a pissed off hedgehog. Falling down air is certainly going to do it at this high of a percentage. Wolfie makes Dro think twice, but he's still nice. He takes that, he takes that set. Yeah, and I was talking about Pac-Man got to clean off the shoes. I mean, Yoshi with that down air really <laughs> in that, uh, <laughs> what do you call that? That's the, uh, that's like the. Uh, I can't do that. Is it the, the Flintstones kind of? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the Yabba Dabba, you know what I mean? Yeah, like really I, just. I, I know exactly what you mean. That was <laughs> insane. Wow. Oh, is that egg conversion? I like looked away for a second and missed this one. Bang! Boom. That was so good. Boom. That was so good. That's gross. You see, I wonder if that's true or if it's just Wolfie's not thinking he's about to get forward air. I mean, he you looked like he, he, he didn't hit stun. He yeah. hit stun, yeah. That's a solid conversion. I, I think it's one of those things where that's it's cool. like it depends on how late into the egg toss animation at yeah. the, the egg connects because it gives you that extra time and those extra frames to go out there and get that conversion true. Yeah, and that's, that's the first time we saw Dro go for that. So, uh... Definitely an explosive option. And that wound up being the difference in the set, right? He found himself at, at 69%. That's not a safe spot to be. Yes. Not a safe spot to be. Never has been, you know? <laughs> Always been a tough one. But immaculate stuff, man. I mean, so does that mean, is that all four on the winner's side that we got? Uh, Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we do. That's all four on the winner's side. So we already know what the, the winner's semis is going to look like on the top eight. But now we have to take a plunge into the elimination side of bracket. We're going to be starting off with some losers top 12. We're going to have.